Hi everyone, welcome to MSCR Makes. I'm Miss Julia and today we'll be making floating chalk prints. For this project you will need a baking dish or something else that has sides that you can put water in. Other examples would be a pie plate, a cake plate, or tin, or a Tupperware. You'll need some water, a spoon, or a butter knife, some regular sidewalk chalk, some paper. I like to use darker colored construction paper for this project, but you can use whatever you have on hand. And some place for your prints to dry that's safe for them to sit for a while. I'm using a baking sheet with a kitchen towel on top. You can pause the video here and go gather your supplies. Now that you've had a chance to gather your supplies, I'm going to move some things out of the way. The first thing I want to do is make sure that my paper fits inside of whatever I'm using for making my floating chalk prints. For me, I'm using this baking tray. So I've cut my papers so that they'll fit inside. If they're too big, you won't get very good prints and things will be blank on the sides. After you've cut or ripped down your paper to the right size, You'll grab your water and put a small or shallow layer of water in your baking tray or dish. Once you have a nice layer of water, you'll grab your chalk and your spoon or butter knife. I'm going to be using this flat edge of the spoon. But if you're using a butter knife, you should use the knife part and not hold on to the knife part. But since I'm using a spoon, I'm going to hold the spoon part and use this flat edge for scraping my chalk. In my other hand, I'm going to hold my chalk and scrape my chalk onto the surface of my water. Do you see how the chalk is floating on the surface of the water? Try adding lots of different colors to get cool, unique prints. Once you're happy with how the surface of your water looks, you're going to grab one of your pieces of paper and go up to make your print. One thing to mention before I make my print is areas that have empty water without chalk floating on them will be the same color as your regular paper when your project is done. You want to try to aim for an area that has lots of chalk on it so that you can get a really cool looking print. I think I will aim for right about here because it has all the different colors I used. I'm going to take my piece of paper and gently place it onto the surface of my water and tap it with my fingers to make sure the paper is touching all of the chalk. Then carefully, I'm going to peel it off the surface of the water Whoa, you can see where the chalk has stuck to my paper. Look at all the different colors I used. Now I'll take it and set it onto my surface so that it can dry. Depending on how warm and how dry your house is, it might take a little while or even overnight for your prints to dry. You can do another print on the same bit of water without cleaning it. Just go ahead and scrape on some more chalk.
and repeat with a new piece of paper. Do you see how on this one I left some areas blank? Those are the areas that did not have chalk on them. You can try using different colors of chalk and different patterns on top of your water to get lots of different prints. I'll show you some that I did earlier that are dry already. Here are two smaller ones that I did earlier. Do you see how the chalk has stuck to my paper? That's pretty cool. I hope you enjoyed doing your floating chalk prints. Try lots of different colors and lots of different patterns. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!